everyone, Jessica Hartson here from Jessie Illustrates. Today we're going to be drawing bugs, so if you get your pens and your paper ready, let's get drawing. So let's get drawing. We're going to start off doing two oval shapes. So we're going to start with this bug over here. So get your pen or your pencil and we're going to draw our oval like this all the way around. Draw different sections on the book. So we're going to do a head area here. We're going to do a line down, slightly curved line. And we're going to do some wings. So we're going to come out down, curved line at the bottom. A line down, curved at the bottom. That's our first shape. We start to add all the fun bits in there. I'm going to draw some antennae, so we're going to go up, and a wiggly um, circle, a line and another circle. We're going to add an eye, a circle here, another eye, a circle here. Now these books are going to be looking at the sunshine, which is going to be in this area, so let's draw our pupil looking at the earth that way. I'm going to do a little right now. the antenna, a line, a little circle, right. and some arms. So we're going to do a line, one, two, three sticks, a line, one, two, three sticks. Same on the other side. Line, one, two, three, line, one, two, and three. Now what makes each book different is that we're going to do different patterns. So we're going to start off doing some shapes in the middle. Now my pen has got an angle, can you see? So this helps it to make a diamond shape. But you can do any shape, you could do, uh, you could draw a diamond or you could do circles. Just having lots of pattern. Now we're gonna do some lines on the wings. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, Draw the sunshine in the middle, which is a circle with lots of lines. Right. And then I'm going to get started on this character. Now he's going to be a little bit like a beetle, so it's going to have more like horns. So we're going to start to do our oval shape to start off with. All the way back up. I'm going to leave a little gap either side where the horns are going to be added on. Let's add those horns in. They're going to be a line, a wiggly shape, and then come back round so that's nice and straight that side. Same on the other side, we're going to go up, wiggle, 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 and then straight on the other side, like that. So the horns. We're going to join now one side to the other. Little um, dip there. So let's make a circle, a circle, and again we're going to be looking at the sunshine, so let's do the eyes looking that way. He's a little bit shocked to see the sunshine, so let's do a ooh, mouth, and we're going to add a moustache, because that will make him a great character, won't you? Give him a little bit of personality. Okay. We're now going to add some more details here, so let's do a line across. We're going to make a little coat for him, so we're going to do a line down the middle that's going to curve out to the side from each each way, like that. I'm going to add some legs, so a line down a little circle. And we're going to draw on um, legs a little bit differently, on some legs. We're going to do a line up, we're going to come down, and then we're going to do a V shape on these ones. So do one a little bit further down, go up, down. A V shape, up, down, a V shape, up, down, 
and I'm going to show you. We've got some legs. Now we're going to add patterns similar to this one. So we're going to do a line down. that look like they're going around the corner so we can do semi-circles there and into the corner looks like it's wearing a little coat here you could do some buttons and let's do some spots at the bottom some little dots this makes all those different sections look like they're different types of fabric Finally, let's finish it off with some grass. So, Ziggy's Aggie Lines. And Ziggy's Aggie Lines all the way across. I wonder how many of you have seen lots of books in the garden this weekend. These are lots of wiggly worms and uh, various beetles and things. Okay, so that's all finished. So you could do lots of other expressions, you could create some more, so just do lots of oval shapes, different expressions, you could have hats, you could have um, scarves, hair if you want to, but it's just your starting point. So tomorrow um, I'm going to have a day off and then I'll be back on Wednesday to do some jungle animals. So I shall see you then, bye!